Hey guys, just want to do a quick review on this leather holster I picked up for my uh, XDM 10 millimeter. So let's uh, get it out and see what she looks like. But first of all, let's make sure the gun is clear. There's nothing in the mag. Nothing in in the handgun. Nothing in the chamber. So she is ready to mess around with. Now I don't know how you pronounce this Tagua or Tagua. I'm not too sure, but it is made for focus for the Springfield XDM. Come on, focus. I have no idea what's going on with my camera today. Okay, anyways, let's get it out and see what it looks like. All right, first of all, you can see the different handgun holsters that they make. There's a couple of them. What is up with this camera? I'm sorry about that, guys. It's not wanting to focus for some reason. Okay, this is a right-handed holster. It is leather. I um, mean, you can even see a little rub mark right there where I was when I was breaking it in. Right there, it it really is leather. Uh, it's got great stitching on it, nice, thick, tough stitching. It is shaped to the gun, quite detailed shape. Looks really good. And the back, you see. Now I really like it because the belt loops are, are hidden in the back, and the other one is right here. That's where you're. So she goes in behind this flap it goes in here and then goes in behind this and it keeps it nice and flush up to your hip and it's clean looking when you don't see the belt loops right here and it don't have another tab over here with the loop on it it just looks really good and it does fit the handgun really nice it looks really good I was gonna dye it black to match the gun but I was I kind of like the way it looked that way so I, I just didn't I didn't die I just left it alone and one thing I do like about leather holsters is they don't scar your gun all up like a kydex holster will or the, you know you get those black hawk holsters um, and and they'll put a big old scar down the side or you know across the top mainly down the side right here and uh, this one don't do it and it holds it really well and I can upside down, you know, for the moving around, and it, it don't move. It, it stays in place. It is a little bit of a pull, just a little bit of a pull to get it out, but that's to be expected. It's, you got to hold it in place. You don't want it to be so loose it just flops out of the gun. So if you have to run or get somewhere in a hurry or, or something and you're carrying this, if you run, if it's real loose, it's just going to, you know, come out of your holster or try to anyway. And this way, it won't. So yeah, I picked it up for eighteen dollars on eBay, and it got—I uh, forgot where it was. Anyways, I live in Alaska, and so it got here in uh, five days, I believe. And it's great for concealed carry because it holds it up nice to your hip. Um, I mean, I can do either one. I can open or conceal here in Alaska, and it's good for both. And it looks really nice. It's it's a really good quality holster, and it is real leather. So yeah, there's my quick review of my uh, XDM 10 millimeter holster. I hope you guys liked it. Please subscribe and like the videos, and uh, there will be more on the way. I hope you guys uh, liked the video. We'll see you on the next one.